Hey there guys, it's Digi here, and we got a little bit of a sideshow thing happening. I don't know what I'm doing on the channel right now, I'm just experimenting, I've been recording a couple of things. So, this is probably going to be a one-of series. Actually, I've got a, a whole lot more of these types of things. I've got a collection of Bandai Namco arcade games. This happens to be one of them. Dig Dug from 1982 of the uh, arcade games machines. What am I talking about? But yes, yes, uh, we've got... I don't even think the game registers his name as anything. Um, Mr. Smurf? Well, we've got Puka, the tomato with uh, the goggles on, and Fire. They're the fire breathing lizards. And a Smurf imitation of Dig Dug. So, let's go after this. Now, I'm not actually here to play the entire game. As you can see down below, I have uh, four extra lives. Count it plus this one makes uh, five. And you might notice, hey, why are you... Just going around in lines. Well, there's this one achievement that I'm going after. It requires you to dig through the entirety of the Holy Crud. Yeah, I did not have anything to do there. Uh. Basically, you have to dig out the entire part of the, uh, the map of any level, but it's just easier to do on level one. So I figure, why not get that over with out here? It's pretty difficult to do up. I've Seen it do done up. Oh boy. But people rate it about a seven out of ten difficulty on on both Steam and Xbox. And Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. If you're wondering why I'm not destroying all the enemies, well, there's a thing to that. Maybe I can destroy one of them. But, uh, if you leave one of them on the one enemy left on the level, they'll just uh, go and retreat and the, the level will end. So I don't want that to happen. I actually need to dig and dig. Okay, going, doing pretty well. Just got to uh, get rid of all these, uh, what is this, vertical? What is this, horizontal? I was always bad with those. Oh, great. Phooey. When you hear that sound effects, it means that uh, everything's going to start speeding up, which means that the enemies are probably going to get you somehow. Uh, 
Okay, okay, we're, we're doing okay. I'll just walk right through you. Dak! Okay. Hmm. See, I do have this little strategy. And I've noticed that while you walk on the surface up above, uh, here, here. You move much faster than what you do beneath the ground. And Figar can't shoot his fire. Well, I mean, he could, he just wouldn't hit anything while he's going, uh, down. Or up. Or while he's stunned. Okay. Calm down. Oh, fully. No. <laughs> he shot it anyways. No. No. Yeah, fooey. That's the closest I've been to getting that. Ah, fooey. Well, okay, round two. Don't know how long I'm gonna spend just uh, trying to do this off. But it's something other than Spelunky and... What? I was nowhere near that thing. Fooey. Bye bye, Puka. You just keep going the way you were going. And we will meet up later on. You know, I got a bunch of other things on my Steam account that I could try to record. It's all just experimental at the moment. I mean, I've got some videos already made up. It's just pretty boring. It's basically a puzzle game. With words and numbers and... You did not hit anything. So every two rocks that you... That you, uh... Remove from the stage. Will spawn either a fruit or a vegetable of a certain type. Uh oh.
Wahaha, <laughs> your added speed boost does nothing to me. I am still... <laughs> How long has this, this been going on for? I don't have my timer on. The timer is a Spelunky exclusive thing. I thought that was gonna happen eventually. But look at that, I cleared out practically the entire map on that one life. What else am I missing here? Okay. Do 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 do. Dang it, I did not see the puka there. Okay, fine. The tomato. Okay, let's get him out of the way. He's the one that I have to worry about the most. Just because fireballs, they are not yummy. Oh boy. Remember, Digi, you still have one more life after this. Just don't go wasting this one life that you're on right now. Yipe! Yeah. Okay. Remember, if you kill all... No, oh, all but one of the enemies. That last one will just go and become a scaredy cat, and it will just run away. Hey. I have this weird feeling that the time limit is going to be activating at any moment. Think of it as the ghost in Spelunky. Eventually it will become an auto-kill. That! Yeah. And then that happens. <laughs> Okay, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Until then, we'll see you then.